been an amazing friend, and um, pretty much anyone you'll ever meet that's ever met him or worked with him adores him. Yeah, first of all, he doesn't need uh, my help. He will always have my friendship. And that's just talking about business and Hollywood stuff, which to me is nowhere near as important as uh, friendship. But I can't sit and say that he's a racist having spent time with him in my house with my kids. I can't say it. And so I really just need to say that. I, I will say, you know, publicly that uh, he is a decent man. He's a highly talented man. Uh, I'm sorry for what has happened to him. Uh, and I am very fond of him. I will stand by him if he ever asks me to. The truth is he and I have a friendship that spans well over two decades. And uh, he's a, a stand-up guy. He always has been for me. And uh, certainly when I was not hireable, he uh, put his ass on the line and I couldn't get insured. And he said, uh, I'll take that chance. We met Mel Gibson. He's awesome. Yeah, he's very, very cool. Every time I've met Mel, he's been a great guy. And he's, he's done me a few favors. And I just like the fellow. It's, it's unfortunate this has to happen, but... It's Hollywood land. I just don't judge him. Who am I to judge somebody? I love that story. It's a biblical thing about the glass house and throwing stones. That's my friend. You know, I, I love Mel. That's my friend. He's had tough times. and We all have tough times. He's had his friends that surround him for a very, very long time. So um, I can only assume that, that that spells good good things in the future for him.